Why we have books because of wasps. Books. From Harry Potter to the Lord of the Rings, they all have one thing in common. Paper. Lots and lots of paper. The Library of Congress alone has over 173 million books. Paper is so common nowadays that we tend to take it for granted. We use it for so many things, from books, to documentation, money, art, cleaning, and so much more. And we owe it all to the wasp. Why? Keep watching to find out. Wasps live inside a nest that can grow up to the size of a basketball. And can contain more than 10,000 individual wasps. And their nest. It's made up entirely of paper. Yes, the same paper you use to write your homework, or to send that birthday card. The process begins with a queen building a sphere made of paper. This sphere serves as a base, and houses the first generation of workers who will help her to build the rest of the nest. They can build their nest almost anywhere, much to the annoyance of people. A lot like humans, wasps like to stay dry and away from the elements, which is why so many wasp nests are removed from human spaces all the time. To build the nest, the workers use their razor-sharp jaws to scrape small amounts of fiber from trees. They then chew them up, mixing it together with the saliva in their mouth. This process breaks up the fibers in the wood and keeps it pliable. Once they return to their nest, they use their legs to cling onto the side, and then they regurgitate the paste. They'll use their mandibles to shape the paste into the proper form, using their instincts to help guide how the nest should be built. It's amazing how the wasps know how to make the shape of the nest, and work with their fellow wasps to complete its construction. Once it dries, it becomes strong, stiff paper. It's just like the paper mache sculptures we made using newspaper and balloons as kids. It's even a similar shape. Wasps make it look so easy too. And that's because they've been doing it for millions of years, way longer than humans have. Humans only discovered how to make paper about 2,000 years ago, while wasps have been around for nearly 30 million years. According to Chinese legend, Sai Lun, who was a court official for the Han Dynasty around 100 CE, discovered the process for making paper. While drinking tea on a quiet, typical afternoon, Sai Lun noticed that there were wasps making a nest near the courtyard. After observing the clever insect combine the wood fibers with its saliva, and then spreading it into a very flat sheet using its feet and jaws, that's when it hit him. Inspired by his newfound discovery, Sai Lun got to work immediately. He discovered that when plant fibers, cellulose, were separated and suspended in water, they would naturally form their own woven mats over time. This is because the fibers are no longer being kept straight in their natural form, trees, and end up crisscrossing and weaving into each other like a tangled mess. He then pressed and dried the mats of fibers using heavy boards to keep the paper flat and even. Once this mat finished drying, it turned into what we all know of today as paper. This discovery has drastically changed our world, and is one our society is completely dependent on. Can you imagine a world without paper? That means no books, magazines, documents, cardboard, money, toilet paper, posters, air filters, envelopes, and the list goes on. Paper used to be so valuable and time-consuming to make, that it was once an extremely expensive resource that only the rich could afford. It was only used for important reasons, and people would even reuse it more than once. Since then, we have nearly perfected the process using more and more advanced technology. It has become so ubiquitous, that we almost forget it exists. And we throw it away without giving it a second thought. Our paper factories are so efficient in fact, that one tree can provide on average about 80,000 sheets of paper. And today, we need a lot of paper. Imagine if Sai Lung was alive today to see how cheap and plentiful paper has become. I think he would be blown away. Timber companies are always planting more and more forests to supply the world's insatiable demand for paper. In fact, we plan and cut down about 4 billion trees annually in order to make all the world's paper. It's estimated that in America alone, each person consumes about 3.5 trees worth of paper products every year. Multiply that by the population of America, which is about 330 million, and that means America alone processes and consumes about 1.2 billion trees. And that's just one country. If you're an office worker, you use even more. The average office worker prints about one sheet of paper every 10 minutes, which means about 1.5 trillion sheets of paper used in offices across America. And we haven't even mentioned cardboard, which we use to ship all of our products across the globe. So the next time you sit down to read a nice book, get your Amazon delivery, or blow your nose, just remember that you have wasps to thank. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. I post new videos weekly, so please subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Have a nice day.